Hey filmmakers, Shoni here. In this video, I'm releasing the Wiggly Text and Art Premiere Pro preset. So here we go. So here you can see the text moving about and also an art line moving about that is very wiggly and also a static art now that is moving in a wiggly way. So go to the link in the description below and you will land on my website. And this is the most important section. If you already subscribed, please press one of the other buttons and you will unlock the download link because this section then will disappear and the download link will appear. Once you have downloaded the file, please unzip it, go to your effects tab and then to the preset bin, right mouse on it and choose import preset to install the file. It's called CD Wiggly Text Art and 15 seconds. So this effect only lasts for 15 seconds. Pretty much uh, you can just make a text or uh, like here I've already just typed down a text. Make sure uh, the text is very uh, yeah handwritten or a brush style text and you can actually draw a quite simple drawing using the pen tool here and also if you want to make a title it's here above title and a new title and then choose default still and then you get this thing pop up and pretty much um, yeah I'm not going to explain this whole thing how you can use it but uh, personally for me uh, yeah I use the pen tool and just draw this line so once you have done that uh, you can just drag and drop it on here and yeah mine is set on very few frames but I'll come back to about the reason for that so now we can see this text and yeah the art line around the camera is quite static so if we drag the preset onto it we can already see this is not as straight as before and now if we play it we can see it's moving about so coming back to this effect of this line moving about around it so this is uh, pretty much like rotoscoping and just drawing each time uh, a separate title but instead of that it's um, yeah that you have to draw it so many times and also uh, have to drag each time uh, each one of them separately uh, I have a trick for it um, let's actually make a new bin that is something very important make this like called art and double click on it and move it on top of here and we have a empty bin and also one thing you have to do is go to preference general and this still image default duration this determines how many frames your titles are or pictures that you import are uh, I've set it to two frames. Uh, this makes it, uh, yeah, for me, one frame is just too fast. Two frames, it's actually your eyes still register the line uh, and actually see it move about. Three, it's also okay, but it looks a little bit shocky instead of more of a fluid movement. So change it to two frames and then press OK. And then we make a new title. And then we grab, uh, use the pen tool. What I like to do is click once, and on the second one, we actually draw a bezier. And the third one, we actually just click. One thing I do change here is to round and make this about 15. So it's not as thin as before and this one I'm not sure why but mine is always not pure white but I'll change it to pure white on my own and then this um, yeah this doesn't have to be all perfect that it's like perfectly follow the lines or something uh, 
and also you don't have to draw it very squiggly because the preset actually causes the squiggly look of it and yeah for the next frame we first have to select that bin art and then we press the new title based on current title and then press ok and you can see it's made one the new one in the same folder make sure you are uh, every time click that bin because otherwise it will make it in your project or on a different bin and now instead of drawing it drawing a new one we actually just move this we just use the arrow and just double click on it to able to access the vector points and pretty much uh, yeah this is a slightly slow process you just have to literally move the points about and again make a new one and you don't have to make it all perfect you just have to make sure only one thing that you do is that you make the lines at least overlap because otherwise uh, it jumps a bit too far off each other and another So this part I'll uh, speed up a little bit. So now we finished drawing all of these lines. It's only eight uh, frames and we can select them all and just in one go drag them onto the timeline. So that is quite easy. Now we select them all and nest them. So we can in one go put the wiggly effect on them. So drag it over it. And now the lines are actually more wiggly than uh, that you have actually drawn. And to loop it, hold down Alt and then select it a few times. because it's a short and quick effect so now if we look at it it looks like you have drawn them each separately and yeah it's a very easy way to affect or add this uh, yeah rotoscope line art effect onto your video so that is how I do it and it's a quite simple and a fast way to do it so that was mainly it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. There's also more videos on this channel and different presets and tutorials. And also, if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.